They are going to be celebrated all over the world right now. Make, make very difficult films, artistically completely uncompromising films. But their own national audience is not enough for that. Whereas an international audience, any minority is making up one major, one majority, let's say, one majority effect at least, has been what has been nurturing their cinema. I don't see why Indian cinema cannot do that. With the internet, with digital tools, with uh, uh, other resources. But it has decided to reproduce a certain kind of convention ad nauseum, even though there are, of course, exceptions here and there. Especially in Bengal, the situation is uh, sort of very bleak to say, say the least. Cinemas for lack of it, for lack of that awareness. Which uh, brings me to something I found uh, quite intriguing, which is the gradual restriction and the closing off of critical space. Uh, surely one of the aids to the self-awareness of cinema, especially for a lay public, has to be informed, intelligent reviews and criticism. Uh, for which there was uh, space in the popular press up until the 80s. There, there were film critics we used to uh, rely upon, whose views we used to depend upon. Uh, we used to use them as guide, guides. But the press has almost deliberately shut off that space. Uh, in fact, there are newspapers now, including in this city. Uh, no, that newspaper is not... It's not one of the sponsors, so I can mention that, which uses celebrities uh, to review films. Uh, how, you know, I mean, how is this, so are we saying that cinema is not important? I mean, it's, it's not important to consider it, that, you know, expert opinion, um, informed opinion about cinema is not uh, important. John, I don't know whether you, you follow uh, you know, Indian film criticism, but do you have a view on this and, you know, how does this happen abroad? Uh, would you like to comment on this? What, what the consequences of this can be? Uh, well, I, I share your disappointment in the demise of um, regular film criticism uh, in, the, in the printed media here. Um, it, it might be, I don't know, I, I can't give a reason for it. It might well be an economic one. Maybe newspapers feel that uh, they can cut down on their um, wages bills by employing people who can write film criticism and uh, follow the, uh, uh, the soccer match and then do a write-up on the uh, uh, demonstration outside the university. Well, uh, if you're going to have uh, the sort of jack-of-all-trades journalism, it might be economical, but of course it's not, it's not good for, uh, uh, well, football, university demonstrations or cinema. Um, I think the important thing we have to come to, to terms with here is the fact that everybody uh, with a, a fondness for the art of cinema probably feels that he or she is as good a film critic as anybody else. Um, anyone can be a film critic. All you have to do is state your opinion and you're a film critic. Uh, it's not quite as easy as that. And uh, I, I think the important thing is it might be better to have no film criticism than to have uninformed uh, film criticism. Because are absolutely keen to do the kind of films that you described, uh, but I would say that there is, uh, it's become much more a business than it was before. And if we take the films, I have done my most work on the 1950s, and if we take the films of Bimal Roy or Gurudas or Mehbub Khan, and you see there is no distinction between commercial and authorship. Um, which is, let's be very clear that unlike any other art form that exists today, uh, filmmaking has always been part business and part art from the day it started. That's why people like Shomit go off and write stuff 
because you can't handle the business part of it. And thank God, we really do need writers because that's something we're missing. Um, so, as a director, there's this constant obligation to return the producer's money. Now, somewhere I need to strike a balance. What happened with the demise of NFDC is the, the filmmaker's freedom to not have to worry about the ticket sales, uh, it, it never stifled his, his or her creativity. With state funding gone... Really, do not buy your argument that uh, we are talking about cinema. I am mourning, let us say, the demise of writing on cinema. At this point of time, whether that has gone hand in hand uh, with writing on the other arts, having this is not my business, quite frankly. Uh, I, to me, the demise of good writing on cinema is something to regret.